The month-old anti-government protest was founded, fronted, and organized by Thai students from high schools to universities. I want democracy and equality where there's no difference whether one person has a higher social status than the other. Earlier in the week, just after high school class dismissal, hundreds showed up in front of the Ministry of Education, asking for the minister to resign and for reform of the education system, less authoritarian, more democratic. This after students said they were prevented from showing their support for the movement on campuses. Like using the three-finger salute, a symbol of the protest, or wearing ribbons, a sign of solidarity. Thailand's education minister, Natapan Thip Suan, came out to speak to the protesters, the first direct engagement from a top government official. Is this something that you think the top levels of government will continue to do, kind of maybe follow your lead? It's not following my lead. I think it's the dialogue that I've had with the prime minister. And I think that by listening to them, we'll... Uh, will minimize the, the damage that, that will be done if there, were, there would be escalating you know, the level of protest. The minister says that he and others in the government are willing to continue and expand discussions with the protesters, but there's a mixed message because more protest leaders are being arrested. And it's clear that the call by some of the protesters for an overhaul in the monarchy is a no-go subject. Free Youth is one of the first and largest groups to start protesting. We have goals, demands and a dream. Our dream is to have a country that is ruled by a true constitutional monarchy like England, Japan, Denmark or Norway, where the monarchy is under the constitution and the highest power belongs to the people. Although the movement is being driven by the students of this country, others are joining the gatherings, especially on weekends. And the main organizing groups have already started to plan for the next round of weekend protests in September. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.